Hello everyone, I have a new toy that I wanted to share with you. I have received the Dot 45 Long Cold Revolver. It was a prize in the Christmas Holiday 2015 event. And the first 10 players received this revolver, the first 3 received the model Stallion, and then the places 4 through 10 received the, the model Mule. And this is what the new revolver looks like. This one is the Stallion model. It's got a very nice finish, very nice looking revolver. I have not shot it yet. I want to try it out here at Red Feather Falls at the uh, shooting range. Let's have a look at the loading animation. Actually, I noticed that this animation is different. Usually when you load the revolvers, you replace all five or all six bullets at a time. But now watch what happens here if I switch my ammo pack here to another one and then just load it very nice it's loading one bullet at a time that is the, a new animation I haven't seen this with the revolvers yet As far as the scope, it takes the same scope as the other revolvers in the game, so you can equip it nicely with what you already have. Um, so this is a nice looking combination with the new scopes anyway, uh, and with this new revolver. So let's take it over to the uh, stand, to the range. So here we are at the Red Feather Falls shooting range. It's the one range where we have animals, uh, and the animals actually have shot detection. They uh, will tell you when you shoot at them whether you hit any organs or where you hit a body. There's uh, a few species here spread out over different distances. If we look at the permitted species, the list of permitted species for this revolver, it appears to be between the 454 and the Dot 44. So it's it's a bit stronger than the Dot 44 revolver, but apparently not as strong as the 454. This one is not allowed for bison. Uh, but it's allowed for reindeer, that's the difference to the big revolver, the 454. But uh, as opposed to the Dot 44, this one is also uh, allowed for moose and brown bear. So the full list is both bear species, both hawk species, moose, Roosevelt elk, red deer, and reindeer. Enough of the talking, let's do a few shots. I'm interested in what it sounds like and also, of course, we want to have a look at the, uh, the iron sights. So let's take this off here for a moment. This is the iron sights. I'm almost distracted by the beautiful finish there. Look at this finish. Um, so it's a very similar iron sight to the Dot 44 Custom with these squared um, iron sights there. So what does it sound like? Let's shoot a few shots and just enjoy this. Wow, that's quite the bang. Of course, my skill level for this one is low yet. Still swaying quite a bit. And whenever you shoot here at these shooting ranges, as long as you stand on the platform, you will not waste any ammo. It doesn't matter so much for members, but if you're a guest and if you have the ammunition, this matters a lot. I'm going to put this, the uh, scope back on here. And I've been shooting this one uh, standing up. So let's see if we lay down. There is a moose back there at... Well, it's probably s supposed to be 60 meters here. Uh, and I'm going to lay down. And then let's see what we what we can hit with this revolver. With the zoomable scope, this is of course a lot of fun. A 
it keeps doing body shots here. I cannot penetrate the heart so far or the lungs. Let's try the lungs up here. This is still a body shot. So remember, this is a very old design. It's supposed to be an old weapon. Um, it's not a very modern model. Uh, but still, I would expect at 60 meters to at least get to the lungs, but I can't. So that's an interesting start here. Uh, let's try what have we got here. Well, this is moose at 35 meters. Of course, the moose is a large animal. Second largest in the game. And here I can get to the heart. Let's get the bear. Left lung. And the heart. So the ones closer are not a problem. We can also shoot at, I believe there is a white tail back there as well. Yeah, there it is. It's not permitted for white tail, uh, but at least for the performance test, white tail at 70 meters with some flowers in between here. Yeah, there's the long no problem here. I just love this reloading animation. Moose once more. So it keeps doing body shots on the moose. And when it gets closer we can get to the heart or the lungs. So let's take this revolver out into the field. This is my tent in the southeast of Redfeather Falls at 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to look for some Roosevelt elk and black bears. I'm wearing the uh, summer forest camouflage, which is important to get closer to, to the uh, black bears. And here at Redfeather, this is going to be on and off a little bit here between the trees, but it's really required uh, if you want to sneak up to the bears. <coughs> we have the first herd of females. If we're lucky, there will be a bull coming along with them. There's always elk around here. I've made a video also, a let's hunt video here for uh, for elk. So this is a really good place. It's a large area here where there's not too many animals and certainly not too many species. Like I said, there's really only elk here and some black bears. Oh, look at this. It's a piebald. Can you believe this? I want the first kill for the 45 long cold to be a rear. <laughs> this is great. This is great. And now I'm not going to mess it up, hopefully. <coughs> I was actually thinking about shooting two at a time, but here I'm not going to take any risks. P 
High ball Roosevelt elk taken with the uh, long hold. And we'll check that one out later. We'll see what we hit on the running animal. But look at this. How about that? Achievement unlocked. First kill with the uh, revolver. Of course, I have to show it. That's better. Now we can nicely see the cold in in the trophy shot. So how about this? <laughs> of course there won't be any bears now if, if they were around as well. What did we hit here? Well this is likely a runner. It was not a good shot and we've already seen from the shooting range if you're not too close, then the performance won't be too well. Although she's still bleeding, she's now below 50% on the first number. So maybe we can pick her up as well. And while I was circling around here looking for my elk that I shot, here it is in the middle of where I've been circling. So she actually died as well from the rather bad shot, the running animal. I shot it only in the back somewhere in a muscle or something. I didn't hit any organs but she still died so these are the two kills to begin with for the Roosevelt elk. Now I will be looking for bears and moose and for this I will actually fast travel to a tent that I have in the north or actually I will start a new hunt there uh, and then we will look for bears and moose. Okay so here we go looking for moose and bears. There's another female. I shot some the two female elks already, so I'd like to see some bulls as well, some males. So hopefully she will bring along a good friend. That's always a chance here at Red Feathers. Uh, she's eating, she's feeding. Not too interested. <coughs> and we remember the shooting range. Certainly we won't do any long shots here with the long cold.
still looking if there's any males. So this is rather close actually and the 4544 would have dropped her pretty sure from this distance. So I see quite a difference to the top model and not much of a difference to the 44 to be honest. It's a long shot, you can see that with the bright blot here. But still, certainly just single lungs. I would expect based on how far she still runs. So it was from 17 meters and we only hit one lung from the front. So I'm gonna head over to the swamps. The toughest certainly is, is to get the beer up close. So we'll see what we get. So this didn't take too long actually the shot from the moose spooked a small bear here. Just ran into or walked into these uh, fleeing tracks. This is the place where I have my bear bait barrel and this is a guarantee for uh, for finding bears even though the uh, the barrel's been empty for a while. That's interesting too. So I'm not sure where this bear went to, but um, we'll take the moose, of course, as well. Finally, it's a bull. <coughs> and here goes the bear, another bear actually. Wow, that's a heavy one. 280 kilograms is the largest weight in the game. So this could even be a big score. And it also might have just spooked the moose. There he goes. Yeah, it's the top, the top possible score estimation. 24, 22 to 24, if I saw this correctly. So this cold is this cold is not just a nice weapon. It, uh, it doesn't just look nice. It also brings you luck. <laughs> it brings you rares and large bears. I didn't know that. But getting this bear actually is quite a task now. He is very aware of the environment and getting close to him will be tough. There's the moose. Has turned away. Now, of course, a rifle would be the right thing to have here, but we dedic dedicated this hunt to the revolver.
It's 21 to 24. And you can see I'm still far and he's starting to trot again. So this is super difficult to get. But the weight estimation, so the score estimation isn't the highest possible, but the weight estimation is 260 to 290. Oh, I said 280 is the largest weight, actually it's 290. And since the track set 280, so this is going to be between 260 and 280. There's another beer. I can see it like this, but not here. Is it coming or going? I will try to get this bear and of course the, the cold is a challenge here, the long cold revolver. Because getting closer to a bear, closer to 50-60 meters is really hard. It works best if you lay down and the bear happens to walk back to you. But I didn't plan that much time here. This can take hours, literally. Now I have to depend on the camouflage, of course. So let's think about the shooting range. We shot the bears, what was it, 35 meters maybe? Without a problem in, in the uh, organs. We had heart and lung shots there. So I'm trying to think if, if I can get within 50 meters maybe, if I should do, uh, if I should try a shot here. There's a smaller one. Still almost at 70 meters. I think I'm going to try it anyway. I'm 
not sure what he's planning. He's moving back and forth here. Let's try from this angle here. But I fear it's only going to be a body shot, so we have to end up shooting it twice. But I really love that sound. Very unique. Body shot starting at 94, 67, and somewhere in the 60s maybe. So he will certainly live, he will survive this one shot, but then a second shot will get it. glad he didn't walk over into the swamps because there it's just too open it's almost impossible to stalk a bear there whereas here we have some trees Oh, this could be a chance now to finally get this beer. I've been tracking it for quite a long time now. There were other beers poking as well. Pushing this one even further out. But now here we could finally get it. So taking a, a revolver for a brown bear or black bear hunting is certainly a good, very good challenge. So the first shot was not even a good one, for sure. So I'm blaming it on the revolver, but um, it's going to blame it back on me. So the health meter has been close to 50% already. So this is 50 meters. 
I mean, this should be feasible for this revolver. Let's just wait for a good angle. And it's still going. Like crazy. Now it's laying down, which means it's going to die. It'll run again once we get closer. But that should be finally it here for this spear. And again, I didn't penetrate any of the organs. I couldn't get to the lungs. Wow, that's quite some work here for this spear. More than I expected. And here we go, expecting a score of roughly 22, I would guess. Let's see how he scores. Yeah, 22 was not too bad. <laughs> all right, so here we go, here's the bear. We shot some elk and all the moose cow. And let's look at this revolver once more. Out here in the sun, this is it. So it's not the greatest revolver, certainly not as performing as the 454. Actually, it, it uh, falls short quite a bit. I think it's very similar, much closer to the Dot 44. It's a fun revolver. It's a good-looking piece, um, and it certainly has a good sound. I hope it comes into the store soon, so you can enjoy this as well. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more.